Ever since DeepSeek came out with their open source large language model, people have been talking about running LLMs locally, which of course begs the question, how exactly do you run a large language model like DeepSeek or Llama or Cloud locally? And for that matter, what kind of hardware do you need on your laptop or on your desktop in order to run it? Well, that's why I put this tutorial together. I want to show you exactly what you have to do in order to run a large language model like DeepSeek on your local machine. And the fact is, it's incredibly easy. I'll get you up and running in less than five minutes. And as far as the hardware requirements go, you know, I'm going to be running this tutorial on a seven year old ninth generation Intel machine with no video card at all. So you don't have to go out and buy a two and a half thousand dollar NVIDIA 4090 video card. I don't even have a video card in this old computer of mine. And as far as the software goes, it's open source, it's free. We're going to use Olama here. All you have to do is download, install it, get the name of the large language model from Hugging Face and boom, you're going to be up and running and downloading and installing that software and running this DeepSeek model. That is exactly what we're going to do next. There's a number of different ways that you can run an LLM like DeepSeek. I've actually got a tutorial on how to write some Python code and run it inside of an application. I really like Modular's Max platform for running LLMs, but by far the most popular, the most common way to run an LLM is to use Olama. Just type in download Olama in Google or just go to olama.com slash download if you don't want to get fished and you just select your operating system. I'm on Windows. Click that beautiful download button and in just a minute, well, it actually might take more than a minute because this is a huge file. It's 763,000 kilobytes. Uh, that's a lot. Um, but you know, it'll download, give it a minute or two. And once it's downloaded, just double click on it and kick off the installation. The installation couldn't be easier. Just click install. I'd say accept all the defaults, but there's no other questions that you get asked. Just let this massive file get extracted and installed on your local operating system. And boom, all of a sudden it then says, hey, Olama is running and you're set to go and run your large language model. Now, what large language model are you gonna run? Well, there's actually a place called Hugging Face and it's a, a repository of all of the open source large language models. You can find Llama here, you can find Claude, you can find DeepSeek. I'd recommend going over here and seeing if you can find the version of DeepSeek that you want. There's a, a bunch of different distributions, a bunch of different versions, and the different versions have a different number of tensors configurations associated with them. I'm gonna use DeepSeek R1 here, and you can see it's got 685 billion parameters I would have liked 700 billion, but okay, I will accept this. I'm going to copy that name. You'll notice it's deepseek-ai slash deepseek-r1. We're only going to need deepseek-r1, but if you click that copy button, you get all of it. But take that, now open up a brand new terminal window and type in Olama run and deepseek-r1. You don't need the preamble, just deep seek. By the way, when I pronounce those words, I pronounce the D, the S, and the R as uppercase letters. So be careful. It's an uppercase number one as well. And just click that and boom, all of a sudden it will start downloading, which is going to take a while, but be a little bit patient. And once it's finished downloading, well, it's going to give you a little message that says, hey, why don't you give me a message? So it says send a message there. And then all you have to do is type in a question, put in a prompt. I'm going to say, tell me the capital of Canada and make it a short response. And then the large language model starts thinking about it. It's kind of funny the way that DeepSeek works. It starts showing you its thought process. A lot of people kind of get, I don't know, they get swayed into the fact that, you know, it's actually thinking, it's actually doing logic and processing here. Don't get fooled by the fact that it's just a, an LLM behind the scenes, no different from any of the others other than the way it was trained. But it comes in, it says some weird stuff, talks about the 
Ottawa National Capsulio, and I think it starts talking about Gemini 4 Lander. I'm not sure what that has to do with figuring out what the capital of, uh, of Canada is. It's, it's narrowed it down to Ottawa, Toronto, and Montreal. Um, Toronto is the capital of Ontario. Um, I think Quebec City is the capital of Quebec, but Montreal is a beautiful city. You really should visit it. But finally, after it's done thinking, it then spits out the capital of Canada is Ottawa. And boom, there you go. We have just downloaded Olama, installed it, found the name of the LLM that we wanted to run, and then did the quick Olama run deep seek R1. And within just a couple minutes, we are now sending prompts to our locally installed DeepSeek LLM. It's just that easy to do.